How to repair cracks in plastic. Method number one. Gluing the cracked plastic. If you need to reconnect a crack in plastic, you can use plastic glue, which is specially formulated to bond plastic surfaces. Squeezing the tube gently, spread a layer over the edges you will reconnect. Keep a cloth or wipe nearby in case you pour too much and dab any excess glue immediately to prevent it from hardening. With the glue spread on the edges, push them together to connect them. Line up the edges carefully. Once you've connected the cracks in the plastic, it's very important that you let glue fully set before using the plastic. Method number two. Using hot water. Reconnect small cracks in plastic using hot water. Fill a bowl or container with enough hot water to submerge the cracked piece of plastic. Then fill a container with cold water and keep it nearby so you can set the plastic after you've repaired the crack. The water should not be boiling when you submerge the plastic. You may not need to fully submerge the entire piece of plastic since you're only repairing a crack and not remolding the whole piece. Different types of plastic may take longer to become malleable in the water. Leave the cracked plastic in the water for at least 30 seconds. When the plastic starts to loosen and become malleable enough where you can mold it with your fingers, remove it from the water. Press the cracked edges together to reconnect them. Try not to squish the plastic edges so they don't appear uneven. Once you have reconnected the edges of the crack, it's important that you quickly cool the warm plastic so that it sets into place. Fully submerge the plastic into the container of cool water. Do not move it around in the water and allow it to sit for at least 30 seconds. Method number three. Making plastic slurry with solvent. Acetone is a strong solvent that can dissolve plastic down completely. You can use acetone to make a putty of melted plastic that is great for filling in cracks. Fill a glass container with acetone. You'll be melting down plastic to use to fill your crack, so use pieces that you don't need. It doesn't matter the shape, because it will melt completely before you use it. Let the plastic pieces dissolve in the acetone overnight. Once the pieces of plastic have fully broken down in the acetone, they will separate and sink to the bottom of the container. Carefully drain the acetone in the sink, leaving only the melted plastic behind. Be careful not to breathe in the fumes. With the acetone fully removed from the mixture, you can apply the plastic slurry made from your scrap plastic. Dip a small paintbrush or swab into the liquid plastic and use it to fill in the crack. Be sure to fill it in completely and apply the putty as evenly as you can. Allow the plastic slurry to harden completely. Wait at least one hour before using the repaired plastic. Method number four. Welding the plastic. Use a soldering iron to fix larger cracks in plastic. Let the soldering iron heat up. Connect and hold the crack together. Melt the edges of the crack with the soldering iron. Allow the plastic to cool completely. Wait at least one hour before using the repaired plastic. For more interesting videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel IMTV.